me quite straight. He is unconvinced about the imminent arrival of this man, Ranji. This is the third interim manager since Fergie went. Um, I, I, I don't get it. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, the man's Ragnick's CV is not one you would go wow. It's jump, not, it doesn't jump out at you. He's not been super successful. I think he's won one trophy. His, his talent would appear, and we'll find out, would appear to go into a football club and create the structure for it to develop and improve in a five to ten year period. Well, that's not what Man United need right now. Man United need it instantly. They need someone to make an impact now. I mean, you know, they are, they've got a healthy group of players there, and there's no doubt about it that the previous manager, Ollie, didn't get the best out of that group of players because they, they have more to give. Now, that's what you're judged on. You walk into a football club, get the best out of these players, and then if you're there long enough, you can bring your own ones in and eventually kick on. But right now, Man United have an underperforming squad of players. Will this new guy, who's never been in English Premier League, be able to do that? I don't think so. I don't think I don't I don't get this appointment on any level. If you're thinking in five to ten years' time the structures he might put in place, six months, and then he's going to take a bit of a consultancy role, nice pension for him, 63 years old, lovely job if he can get that sort of work. But I, I just don't I just don't get this appointment. So you don't really know in what direction the Manchester United hierarchy are going in? No, I I I, I look at Manchester United. Without, without having any inside detail on how the workings, I don't see anyone putting their, their hand up and say, I signed him, he's my player. I don't see anyone taking responsibility. Since Fergie went, you know, the, bit, the, the thing you have to get, the most important thing you get right at a football club is recruitment. Manchester United, since Fergie went, I've got a master class on how to get it wrong. I, 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 and that's how I see it. I think if you look at the players I've brought in, the players I've sold, I'm thinking of Johnny Edmonds. Johnny Evans is allowed to leave. Johnny Evans is better than any centre I've got now. And I, I, just, I just don't get that. So I think players to buy, players to sell, giving people like Martial, who was in the last chance saloon for me two, three years ago, give him a new contract. Mata, I believe, is a really nice human being, but I get what is he offering to them on the pitch? I, I just don't get who's making the football decisions. They just seem to be getting them wrong consistently. And that's a dangerous thing. It's, it's Manchester United, this majestic football club, are, are, are just... I, I was going to say they're sort of treading water, but I don't even think that. I think mm. they're sinking. And it's too late almost at the moment to think that they're going to catch up the big ones, City, Liverpool, Chelsea, anytime soon. Man United are arguably one of the, possibly the biggest football club in the world. When you factor in success, their turnover the amount of supporters they have. And right now, they must be hurting. And, 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 and you know, people think, because of my Liverpool connections, I'll be, I'll be relishing and I'll be liking it. No, I, I go to Man United and I realise what a special football club that is. But I think they're being mismanaged. And I'm not just talking about Oli in the last two years, the Mourinho before that and Van Gaal. I'm not talking about those guys. I think, above them, the mismanagement has been catastrophic. And that's why they find themselves in this situation.